hello, hello. What I got today, what I got today. Okay, um, I'm um, quite excited to share this uh, phone with you. Um, I was waiting a couple of weeks um, for this to be released, so it was just released I think last week. I got it from Sook.com and it cost me 999 Saudi Rials. Um, this is the Inju. Can you see? Can you see the Inju Pro 2? Okay, um, this uh, Inju um, is a company that has been around now in uh, the Middle East and I think in other countries, Africa, for a few years. And they're kind of a budget phone, but you, you know, they do tablets as well. They do a lot of things, they even do TVs. Um, really, um, what they offer is quality uh, budget um, products and I mean they're really well built. Now um, the first Inju phone I had was their first phone which was the Inju one and it was a relatively low spec phone but it was you know um, it was okay as a second phone at, at the time um, and I, I enjoyed using it. Uh, they've now uh, released this um, Inju Pro uh, 2. The last few releases have been uh, relatively a higher specification phone, uh, phones. Um, this is their flagship phone, the Inju Pro 2. Okay, so what is the specification? You get 5.5 inch Full HD screen, you get uh, a Helio P20 which is, which is the MTK6757 and it's clocked at 2.3 you get 64 GB, comes only with 64 GB internal memory and SD card up to 256 GB. You get a massive 6 GB of what they call super fast uh, RAM. And um, the camera here at the back is uh, 16 megapixel with dual LED and the front camera is a 8 megapixel camera. You get uh, on the front you you get uh, your fingerprint scanner um, which is pretty sensitive. Um, here we just have the normal um, headphone jack. Here's your uh, uh, power button and volume rocker there if you can see it. With the black it's a wee bit difficult to show you. And this button we have here if you can see that one here, this one you can set to open up um, applications and uh, mine's is set to uh, open up the uh, camera. Now um, since I've opened up the camera I will talk about it uh, just a bit here. This is a pretty decent camera. It's got uh, PDAF which is uh, phase, phase detection. So um, all in all, I found it to, to be uh, pretty decent. I've been using the, they have a setting called Pro Photo. I've been using that and I found it to be uh, very decent. Um, and uh, certainly it's been the best of the uh, budget phones that I've been uh, using of late. Um, and it's not, it's probably as good as the uh, Blackberry Passport camera, which I thought was a really good camera. Um, let's see, uh, what I really liked was the uh, video. I took some video of my kid, which I'm not going to show you, but I have some video here. Um, I can't remember though if it was, let's see if I can get it to work. Yeah, no, I, I think um, I, I did something when I was f f fiddling around with it, so it's um, not working. But believe you me, the um, the video I thought was really really excellent um, the quality was just uh, really good and you can record up to 4k and I think this is a problem with this um, I was recording 4k and and then I was trying to transfer it and I think I've corrupted the file um, so I can really just uh, delete this file which I'm going to do now I still got my uh, my uh, this arm here still in a sling so um, excuse me okay so I've uh, deleted that. 
Uh, they have, um, so the camera is excellent, so you're looking for a good camera, I don't think you'd go wrong. It has, um, you see here, uh, uh, stereo speakers, and the sound is okay. I wouldn't say the sound is really, really loud, it's just, um, I would say, kind of medium sound. I don't really use them, so it's only really for the, um, uh, the you know, the, the, the ringer. The design, I mean, okay, you could either call the design... Uh, pretty plain uh, but you know I think it's kind of understated and, and I kind of like that simple uh, the simplicity of the design it's a, this is like a, the jet black it comes in two colors it's the jet black or the black one it comes in gold it's aluminium uh, uh, body and I kind of like it again it's that kind of just uh, the, the, the aesthetic is definitely quite simple. It's probably a cross between what um, HTC and a uh, bit of the iPhone aesthetic but I, I, I like it. Um, I just like the the um, it feels good in the hand to use and it's relatively easy to use with um, uh, you know one uh, one hand. Um, just to check here if you can see let's see if I can get this right. It's probably only going to be this way so that's uh, CPU Z and that's the MediaTek uh, 6757 that's at 2.34 um, now this also has um, uh, an, a Mali T uh, 880 uh, G GPU um, and uh, I did oh I did of course I did the Antutu now the unusual thing about this, um, when I, I uh, when I first set the phone up, it um, uh, I, d I downloaded basically I copied all the apps from the Ucatel uh, U20 Plus that I was using, so I kind of just like set up from there. And you will see here that even though I uninstalled uh, and to to and reinstalled it again, let me see if I can get this here. Okay, you see it's still listing it as the U20 Plus. So I don't know. Anyway, the U20 Plus was uh, the score was round about what was it, about 36,000 something like that. This is getting a score of. Uh, 60 um, uh, 1655 and I actually got a bit higher score than that as well um, I'm not sure it went a bit lower but uh, it was a, 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 um, around about 63 I think it was um, originally um, so I mean this is plenty fast it's uh, for, for most people that's it's more than enough I not noticed any issues at all with lag I think the screen let me show you if I can show you here what brightness I've got I've hardly see I've got it on about what less than one third brightness the screen is really really bright uh, the colors are excellent it's very very vibrant and uh, excellent for I was watching the iPlayer uh, BBC iPlayer I was watching match of the day last night it looked uh, 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 really really cool so um, the screen I think is excellent uh, now I've been using um, now I think I did quadrant while I'm here while I'm here while I'm here I will show you um, the quadrant or did I delete it let me see LMNOPQ LMNOPQ P, P quadrant yeah here it is and my device, can we see here again? Try to get it focused again. I'm sorry, I'm using uh, uh, the new batteries coming from my uh, uh, GoPro. Hopefully, this week. Anyway, the quadrant score was um, 41. 1664 so pretty decent really for uh, like a budget now when I say this budget I mean this is like 260 odd dollars I mean it's not it's kind of mid-tier really it's not a budget phone um, so really you get a very high specification good looking phone for uh, the price um, of 260 odd uh, dollars now um, so you got got to hand it to Inju. I think they have really made a statement of intent, of you know probably where they're going, looking at you know 
breaching the upper echelons of the higher specification phones and still keeping their budget phone line as well so yeah good for them I think um, um, you know I've seen a number of phones and I've just always thought that they were relatively well built if low spec but they were uh, really well built and, 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 and decent enough and a lot of people using them as uh, second ha uh, you know second uh, phones very popular in this uh, side of the world to have a second phone um, some of us have uh, third phones um, so uh, the other thing was uh, when I first uh, set it up it came I mean it did come with some bloatware okay it wasn't like horrendous but there was some crappy games and it was easy enough to install uh, uninstall um, there has been no uh, adware you know that kind of stuff that is popping um, annoying ads been popping up nothing like that so you know pretty cool uh, the, the 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 battery is a, a 4000 uh, let me just double check that in case I'm lying to you uh, let me check what the battery was um, yeah 4000 mAh battery now I would say that it is lasting me. I'm using 3G uh, all day, and it is certainly lasting me until uh, I'm going to my bed. Um, so, if you were, you know, not um, uh, using maybe the 3G, you could get, uh, you know, a bit longer out of it. But you know, the battery I think is okay. Um, if not spectacular, it's 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 more than enough, uh, and it's. Also, with this uh, MTK, it has uh, well, it says that it's got um, some special charging pump te MTK pump technology. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but they say it for faster uh, faster charging. So, I mean, I would recommend anybody who's interested in this phone to go onto their website, www.inju.com. Uh, and uh, check out their uh, some of their products, and you'll be able to see the specification and some better photographs of this phone um, there. Um, this morning, coming to work, I was testing the Bluetooth with my. Uh, let me see. With my Jbird uh, X2 uh, Bluetooth uh, headphones, I'll say it again, probably the best Bluetooth headphones around. Um, and the sound is uh, is really good. I didn't open up the um, I'm going to show you in a minute. But I didn't open up the headphones that came with uh, the Pro 2 uh, because maybe this will end up being sold. I don't know. I might keep it. I will see. I always say I, I will keep it. Then I don't keep it and I sell it. So the sound was uh, uh, really good. I couldn't try it uh, with my Zero DAC you know digital audio convert uh, amplifier earphones that I use because it's a USB-C and uh, that uh, zero headphones is normal um, USB so I couldn't try it excellent to have uh, USB-C um, it's so easy to then plug in at night in a dark room rather than fiddling around all the time which is really annoying um, and every phone should come with USB-C okay um, now what I did want to show you and I'm going to have to move my camera was and this is I shows you the statement of intent of Inju they have really made uh, the packaging pretty cool and making the whole thing high-end so I'm just going to lift this up and show you here so you can see here, don't worry if it's a wee bit shaky, so this is where the phone um, goes. Here is uh, where the headphones, and the headphones look quite nice there, and charger here. Um, and uh, I mean it's, it's packaged just really well. This is the manual and uh, guarantee or, or warranty in here and uh, yeah they had it really really nicely packaged and you know at that um, it's a solid box and you see here like that it's just uh, really cool and I think um, uh, they've done a really good job with that it gives you that kind of um, uh, premium feel so uh, good on Inju for uh, doing that um, um, uh, it, it just 
you know, it's not doesn't feel like a cheap cheap phone. Actually, when you're holding this phone in your hand, it doesn't feel like a cheap phone. And I've had a few people um, I've showed it to, and they've thought they've been, uh, you know, they thought it was like really cool. I mean, some people haven't even heard of Inju. Um, so the um, the other thing I wanted to mention now, let me just. Uh, yeah, um, some apps. Now I'm just telling you this. Just people are interested. I've been using Nova Launcher uh, this month as my launcher of choice, which is pretty good. And you know, you can customize it to uh, lots of, uh, you know, to get it really running the way you want. And I've been enjoying using this. Um, can you see it here? That uh, rocket launcher. It's called. There it is. Rocket launcher. Yeah, oh, oh yeah. Uh, I've been enjoying using that, um, and also I thought I'll let everybody know um, if you're in need of a VPN. If you can see the icon here, oh, VPN secure. Uh, they're doing a special offer now. It might still be running this week. Uh, Thirty-nine dollars for lifetime subscription. So. Uh, you can find their website and then you can pay and download it. They have a free version as well, but for $39 for a lifetime is pretty decent. Of course, my music app um, of choice is uh, Power Amp, and with this phone is running Android 6. So what I did was I had I had so I've got 64 GB of internal storage. I put in a 32 GB. Uh, memory card and then I formatted it to become part of the system memory which you can do with uh, Android 6 so that just means though if you want to remove that SD card you have to format it again um, so that you can use it out with the, the phone but basically that just gives your internal memory uh, a big boost of whatever the size of your SD card is so yeah um, that, I really like that feature also, um, I've been, you know, I've been a fan of this uh, Arrow launcher as well. I think it's pretty decent. It's worth a, a download to, you know, check it out. Now, um, one thing I didn't talk about was the call quality, and yet the call quality is 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 good. Um, perhaps it could be a wee bit louder, um, but really, I didn't really have any problems with it. It's it's certainly up there with the the best of the. Uh, mid-tier um, phones that are around it's not as clear it's not as crystal clear as the blackberry passport but the blackberry passport certainly if you're buying a new one is a lot more expensive um, so for me it's uh, more than uh, decent um, and i just felt i haven't had any issues at all as i say with um, uh, video uh, it's been a pleasure to watch um, the uh, it, you know uh, what I've been uh, watching the, the iPlayer and watching my football uh, Scottish football I was watching last night so I mean it's nice the weight I think is about 194 grams so I mean it's it's hefty but it's not too heavy and you know it's it's just got a nice weight to it it's comfortable to use um, and uh, I think most people I mean it's a wee bit slippery and I'm sure that uh, Inju will have uh, uh, you know available I think the seller in the GCC is Sook.com and I'm sure that Inju will have um, covers etc available for uh, this I'm not a big fan of co co um, any kind of covers really so I will just uh, do my best not to, to drop it it's not any slipper than most phones to be honest with you um, the screen has got this uh, you know the two 2.5D uh, screen and I believe that it's Corning uh, Gorilla Glass so should be okay for not getting any of your scratches so I think really um, 4G LTE now, okay, right. Uh, look, this is Inju's top of the line phone, and I, I think that you know they're really just uh, starting to going to be producing more, um, you know, more kind of flagship devices. Now, what is missing here, which I would have liked, is NFC. Um, I'm not going to complain about it too much because most most of everything else, this phone ticks all the boxes, and the most important thing is the screen. Of course, and the speed. 
uh, and, and with that 6 GB of RAM and your Helio P20, um, really you're just not going to suffer any issues whatsoever. You're going to have a, a, a pretty cool uh, phone. So I would recommend checking out their uh, website and uh, they've got another couple of um, decent phones uh, as well um, which I was really wanted to buy and test but my wife wouldn't give me any money uh, which is pretty sad um, so I need to sell some things to, to buy some more phones I do have a new another phone coming soon um, which I will probably review uh, next week I think it will come maybe tomorrow or uh, Sunday something like that so really that is it that is my review of the Inju uh, Pro 2. Can I recommend it? Yes, I can. This is an excellent phone um, and for the price I think you get uh, it really would suit at most people. Uh, it's a nice cool looking phone, has all fully featured, got a decent camera everything about it is, uh, I love the box I think it is just a, a very very decent phone and I'm hoping that when the Pro 3 comes it will have the NFC and uh, hopefully a 2K screen that would be absolutely brilliant um, so well done Inju uh, I think they've done a really good job here as usual anybody got any comments questions uh, I will do my best to answer them just send uh, in the comments a slot uh, below and uh, I will do my best to uh, answer any of your queries so that's it the Inju Pro 2 bye